know I've been doing videos for a while now, and I think it's time that we start upping the production quality in these things, don't you think? So without further ado, today we're going to be looking at my top 10 fire levels. I already did my favorite ice level, so now I thought we'd look at the opposite. Nothing gets my muscles burning more than a good old level full of lava, am I right? Get it? Because, uh... You, you burn in lava? Man, I'm on fire today. Anyway, let's start with number 10. 10. Ah, Pokemon Snap. Talk about a trip down nostalgia lane. I love taking pictures of a dancing Pikachu and rock climbing Gravelers. The volcano level had some pretty memorable moments too, like murder, assisted suicide, and you can knock this Charmeleon into a pool of lava and then he turns into a Charizard. Wait, how does that even work? If I cook my cat on the stove, she doesn't turn into a tiger, I just get arrested for animal abuse. Nine. I've expressed my love for Castle Crashers before, and Lava World is an excellent level in an already awesome game. It's one of the longer levels, and it introduces the sandwiches for the first time. Man, I can look like that just by eating a sandwich? Move over, Popeye. I don't need your spinach. I'm just gonna go make a BLT. So after making your way through this level, killing mini volcanoes and Pompeii victims, you face off against a giant dragon with a sock puppet. Yep. That's exactly what it is. I don't really have to add anything to that, that's just how great Castle Crashers is. Eight. When my friend first showed me Minecraft, I thought it was some 90s game that I somehow had never heard of. But once I played it, I was hooked. I never would have thought low resolution green blocks that made a hissing sound could be so terrifying. Then when I found out about the nether, it blew my mind. Not only is it this massive, dark, lava filled hellscape, but every block you move is 8 blocks in the real world. So you can make a portal a few feet away and be in a totally different spot when you go back through. Add in some truly scary enemies like ghasts and zombie pigmen and you have a truly memorable area. Seven. The Water Temple gets a lot of crap in Ocarina of Time, but I think part of the reason is because it has to follow the Fire Temple. The Fire Temple is probably my favorite dungeon in the whole game. You get this wicked hammer and you get a free Gorons. Look how happy they are to be free. And the boss is freaking awesome. What's with games putting dragons in fire levels anyway? Not to mention the entrance to this thing is in the middle of an active volcano. You have to wear a special tunic just to survive down there. It's like this is where things start to get real. You're entering some treacherous stuff here. No more fishing or collecting chickens, you gotta kill a dragon in the heart of a volcano here. Six. Lethal Lava Land in Super Mario 64 is a great level for several re- <coughs> Oh, sorry. As I was saying, this level has all sorts of- <coughs> Jeez, man, watch where you're going. So you can roll across a- <coughs> Holy crap, these things are annoying. The bullies were frustrating, sure, but the rest of this level is awesome. Mainly, you can ride a shell across lava. Look how sweet this is. I could do this all- <laughs> Aww. I also like this level because there's basically an entirely different level waiting for you if you hop in this volcano in the middle. Two levels rolled into one. You won't find a deal like this anywhere else, folks! Call now! Five. I loved Aladdin on the Super Nintendo growing up. It's one of the few movie game adaptations out there that actually follows the script pretty well. One of the hardest levels was the Cave of Wonders. It starts out all calm and soothing, but as soon as Abu touches that jewel and the statue calls you an infidel, that's racist. Everything changes. Lava starts shooting out of the ground and all the rocks are suddenly loose for some reason. This isn't even the hard part. This is the hard part. I can't tell you how many times I died to this section. Look at the amount of space you have on screen to react to things. This takes someone who's superhuman. Boulders and lava waves make for one of the most memorable levels from my childhood. How are these waves even happening? Four. So you're playing Dark Souls 2, right? Right. And you just beat this headless horse lady, right? Uh-huh, right. Then you go up this elevator a long ways, right? Sure, sure. Then you head out, and there's this whole fortress thing falling into a giant lake of lava. How is that even possible? What is this lava sitting on? I, I don't know. I can't really explain the logistics of Iron Keep, but it's one of my favorite levels in Dark Souls 2. This is a huge level with a ton of mini-bosses and difficult enemies. The Smelter Demon is one of the hardest bosses in the game. And man, he's got some bad heartburn there, doesn't he? Jeez. Jeez, that's why! Life pro tip, don't stick your flaming sword into your stomach. So after fighting your way past some archers, a furnace, and some bell bros, the old Iron King is the perfect cap on top of a great level. Don't fall in the lava, don't fall in the lava- Oh man! 
the snake cult level in Volgar the Viking is great because it's where you really take a look at your surroundings and think, oh snap, things are getting real. You gotta be careful not to fall into lava because that's instant death. And all the enemies here are trying to burn you alive. Like, like look at this guy. Ah, ah, I work out. The boss of this level is awesome because it's almost like it doesn't belong. I was expecting some giant fire beast or something, but instead it's this massive snake. <laughs> Indiana Jones would have peed his pants right about now. But seriously, this thing is pretty terrifying, and my jaw hit the floor the first time I saw this. Still gives me the willies. Ooh. I'm sure you've heard its praises by now, but Shovel Knight is so good. I love everything about this game, including its cinematography. I never thought an 8-bit style game could have so much detail, and the Lost City is no exception. It seems like a normal fire level at first, but as soon as you drop down onto this beetle, that's when this level really takes off. He's so cute, look at him! It's like he wants to help you. Where to today, sir? Right away! Except then he... No! The thing that makes this level so cool is the fact that they combine two things that should never be in a level together, bouncy goo and lava, yet they make it work so well. I love that you're introduced to the idea of bouncing with the beetle, and then you see these balls of goop, and then you throw them onto the lava and presto, instant awesome level. To top it all off, you get a face off against a digging mole man who probably needs to lose some weight, yet look how fast he goes. Sheesh, all of some of what he's having, am I right? One. I know, I know, I've talked about how much I love Paper Mario already, but seriously, the Lava Lava Island chapter is incredible. From the second you land here, you have to rescue Yoshis, visit a giant raven, then you enter Mount Lava Lava itself. Sure, Colorado is one of the more annoying characters in the game, but this volcano makes up for it with interesting puzzles, cool scenery, and a fantastic boss battle at the end. This is definitely one of the more memorable bosses in the game. I remember being scared so bad of this plant thing as a kid because it could catch fire and it was a really challenging fight. Man, just looking at this makes me want to play through Paper Mario again. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 fire levels. There were so many good levels that I just couldn't quite fit on this list, and I'm sure you have your favorites as well, so put those in the comment section below. I'm Snowman, and thanks for watching. You can subscribe to this channel for all your gaming needs. Be sure to follow me on Twitch as well, because I really will start playing through Paper Mario again soon. You can follow me on Twitter to see when I might be streaming. Thanks for watching again, and check out these other videos before you go. See you later!